Hey everybody, I'm Brent, and welcome to a very special episode of Solo TV. Today is all about Sologenic. Learn about the free DeFiX Solo event on November 18th. Find out about the launch of the Tokenization Asset Simulator. Hear from Sologenic co-founder Bob Ross, Chief Product Officer Dmitry Litvinovich, and much more. Here's our first segment. On November 18th, Sologenic is hosting a free online event, which will bring together blockchain and crypto leaders to discuss how DeFi is shaping the global economy. There will be a live AMA with Sologenic co-creator Reza Basash and Sologenic Chief Product Officer Dmitry Litvinovich. Ask a question and you could win Solo and Sologenic merchandise. At DeFi X Solo, there will be a number of industry professionals speaking about DeFi. Let's take a look and see who they are. Sologenic co-creator Bob Ross will give opening remarks and discuss his thoughts on Sologenic and the future. Sologenic co-creator Reza Basash will provide insight on asset tokenization on the XRP ledger. Dr. Ben Gertzel is the CEO of the decentralized AI network SingularityNet, a blockchain-based AI platform. Dr. Gertzel is one of the world's foremost experts in artificial general intelligence. He has decades of expertise applying AI to practical problems in areas ranging from natural language processing and data mining to robotics, video gaming, national security, and bioinformatics. Ben will give his keynote on how AI will revolutionize DeFi. Michael Stevens is a leading information technology law partner at Faskin. As an experienced M&A and securities lawyer, Michael counsels emerging growth companies from their foundation all the way to IPO or an exit event. Mike also advises founders, executives, and company boards on corporate issues, business strategy, fundraising and board governance, and strategic transactions. Jeff Dorman is the Chief Investment Officer at ARCA, a full-service investment management firm offering institutional caliber digital asset products. At ARCA, Jeff leads the investment committee and is responsible for portfolio sizing and risk management. Hillary Carter is the managing director and director of research at the Blockchain Research Institute, a think tank helping institutions navigate blockchain tech. Felix Mago is the co-founder of Dash Next. With Dash Thailand, Felix has established the first crypto payment ecosystem in Asia. Felix published the Bitcoin Handbook, and he is the co-founder of the Block Tech Institute. Felix is also a guest professor of blockchain at UCLA. At DeFi X Solo, there will also be a panel discussion hosted by Charles Bouvier, who is the Vice President of Content at Quantum Economics. The panel will consist of Hans Koning, Chair of the Digibyte Foundation. Hans has five plus years in involvement in the blockchain technology and cryptocurrency community. Carolyn Reckow, Head of Business Strategy at Keep, a network that provides a bridge between public blockchains and private data. Carolyn has a background in social science and organizational systems research, and has worked in crypto for over four years. Piers Ridyard, a serial entrepreneur and CEO of Radix, the first layer one protocol for the DeFi industry, Piers leads the company's mission to transform decentralized finance with secure, scalable solutions. And Santiago Roel, partner at Parify Capital, a San Francisco-based alternative investment firm focused on blockchain and decentralized finance markets. The panel will discuss DeFi through the lens of investors looking for opportunities and pitfalls in this compelling area. At the DeFi X Solo event, Sologenic will launch the Tokenization Asset Simulator, which will allow solo holders to practice tokenizing stocks without real money. Let me explain. Sologenic's token is Solo, and Solo holders will soon be able to tokenize 40,000 stocks, ETFs, and commodities 
from 30 global stock exchanges. What's great is, you will no longer have to go through brokerages to own stocks in your favorite company. And you will be able to buy fractions of stocks in the same way that you can buy fractions of crypto. Solo holders can then trade these tokenized assets against Solo or XRP on the Sologenic Decentralized Exchange. With the Tokenization Asset Simulator, you can get a feel for how the full tokenizing platform will work and have some fun while doing it. If you want to see a live demo of the simulator, ask the Sologenic core team some questions in an AMA and win Sologenic merchandise and Solo. Then register for your free ticket now by going to defixsolo.eventbrite.ca. So to find out more about the DeFi X Solo event, we're here with Sologenic co-founder Bob Ross. Thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me on your show. Now, you've just come back from Europe and had to spend two weeks in quarantine. So can you tell us a little bit about what you were doing in Europe? Uh, absolutely. You know, I, I had to stay there for four months, around four months. Uh, one of the main reasons that, you know, I, I had to work out of our headquarters inside uh, Europe it was uh, because of the licenses that we are currently obtaining. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, we had to hold many different uh, meetings with the financial services authorities and our legal team. A lot of back and forth, back and forth, but uh, I'm glad that everything worked out and you know, we are on the right track. And uh, yeah, and, and I'm back right now. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home. Uh, so uh, we're here to talk about Sologenic, mm -hmm. and Sologenic is a DeFi ecosystem. So can you tell us, uh, give us an overview of Sologenic and how it fits into the DeFi space? Uh, obviously, Sologenic is a hybrid DeFi. Uh, you know, before we get to that point, I would like to emphasize that uh, DeFi is a hot topic. The reason that you see uh, everyone is talking about DeFi is because the DeFi definitely has the potential to disrupt the future of economy. There is no doubt about that. But uh, there is a question here that uh, how government, how comfortable governments are with the DeFi concept and, and the whole decentralization. Uh, that's that's uh, that's actually the, the main question here. Because at the same time that you know we are we support decentralization, we have to satisfy the government as well. That's how at least this is how I look at it. For that reason, we have designed a hybrid DeFi model. It means that uh, us as a centralized party, we are only involved as a single point of KYC and fiat and an off ramping, and everything else is absolutely decentralized. Okay, now. Uh, Sologenic allows users to uh, tokenize over 40,000 mm -hmm. uh, stocks, ETFs, commodities. So uh, can you tell us about the benefits of tokenization? Uh, when you tokenize as as an, an asset, there are a lot of benefits attached to that. But probably uh, in case of Sologenic, there are four main uh, features and benefits which uh, I think these are, these are the top, top uh, benefits for the users. Uh, the first one is uh, you know, we Sologenic is removing the limitation of traditional financial markets. It means that users they don't have they don't have to trade uh, these assets within the specific time frame. As you know, traditional financial markets they are only open in a certain period period of time. They are closed over the weekends. But with Sologenic, you can actually trade these tokenized assets for twenty four seven. That's probably the biggest one. The other one is uh, fractional trading. You know, right now, uh, uh, you are not able to buy a fraction of a stock. It's not available, right? Uh, and some users, they would like to get involved in that. You know, they would like, there, are, there are so many users that they would like to own uh, a piece of Amazon stock, right? But it's too expensive. So fractional trading probably is the answer uh, for those users and those clients. Uh, so that's another feature. The other feature is self-custodial. Uh, users, they can actually transfer these assets and, and transfer it to their own private wallets without, uh, you know, depending on a third party, which makes it very secure. And the last one is the spending. So once an asset is tokenized, it becomes a cryptocurrency. It means that you can actually 
spend them using our solo cards uh, everywhere in the world where the ordinary credit cards are accepted. Uh, so you mentioned a lot of different elements there. Mm -hmm. So how does it all work? Uh, fractional trading, right? Yeah. Okay. So we have designed a new type of uh, order. It's called pool order. The way it works, there is a pool and users, they can chip in and can contribute any amount that they want into the pool. As soon as the pool value reaches to the amount of one stock, the order is being executed and users, they are going to receive the share of that token, a specific token. Just to, just to give you an example, let's say if the price of uh, Tesla today is 100 bucks, $100, uh, I, I uh, chip in uh, $1 and there are other users that are going to you know, contribute different amounts, you know, from $1 up to 100 bucks, right? Uh, as soon as the whole amount of the pool reaches to $100, the order is going to be executed and I will receive 1% uh, of, of that token, that tokenized assets. That's exactly how it works. Mm -hmm. Now, how do dividends work for people who have tokenized assets? Uh, that's actually a great question. You know, we, we have been uh, trying to make this as simple as possible. Uh, the Solarjank ecosystem scans all the wallet addresses and deposit dividends in real time into those wallet addresses that they're, they hold a specific uh, tokenized asset which are qualified to receive dividends. As easy as that. So I imagine that the securities industry is highly regulated. So what challenges has that posed for Sologenic? Uh, you know, the way that we look at it, regulations, bring transparency and value for uh, consumers and vendors. You know, vendors, they can expand their business. You know, they know the, the, you know, the regulatory framework, so they, they can work within that framework to expand the business. So the way that I look at it, it's, it's beneficial. It's win-win for both parties. Uh, in terms of uh, Sologenic, we, you know, as I mentioned, we have applied for uh, MIFID investment firm license uh, inside EU, which this license gives us the opportunity to uh, offer the trading of securities to our customers. And at the same time, uh, we are applying to, you know, to obtain a very similar license uh, from offshore jurisdictions, it, uh, from Mauritius. So once we have that license in, in hand, we can expand our uh, service to other countries globally. But obviously, the, we not, the service is not going to be available inside United States uh, at this moment. So, on November 18th, at the DeFiX Solo event, Sologenic will be launching its tokenization asset simulator. Mm -hmm. So, can you tell us about that and how it's going to work? Definitely. Uh, DeFiX Solo 2020 is a very special event for myself and the other team members, the whole team. The reason is that the whole team, they have been putting in extra efforts and hours to make this happen. The, the whole ecosystem, you know, to develop. And uh, you can imagine, they, they have been a lot of obstacles that we, we had to deal with, beside COVID-19, obviously. But <laughs> uh, so finally, we are, we are uh, you know, excited to announce and release uh, the Sologenic tokenization asset platform, the simulator version for the very first time. And we would like people uh, and users to go play around with it, test it, tokenize 40,000 assets over XRP ledger testnet and get more familiar with it. So once we have the licenses uh, obtained, we can simply go live and people, they, they already have uh, experience with, with the system. Yeah. So, and by the way, they are going to be uh, a lot of speakers from, from different sectors, which are going to share their knowledge with the audience as well. So yes, definitely I'm looking forward uh, to DeFi Excel 2020. So we're wrapping up here, and okay. uh, can you tell us, what do you hope for the future of Sologenic? Uh, you know, the, we have a lot of ideas. Uh, we have a lot of, uh, you know, the whole team, they have a lot of great, great ideas. Uh, you know, as I mentioned before, but this is probably just the beginning. And uh, so once we pass this you know, phase, once uh, this, this phase is very important, we are still in developing 
phase, uh, we're obtaining the license. So this is probably the, the hardest part. So once we pass this phase, uh, all we, ha all we are going to do is just to improve and add more value and features to the whole ecosystem. And uh, quite frankly, you know, when I look back, we started nine, ten months ago. Uh, I'm, I'm happy. You know, I'm happy. I'm satisfied. I'm, I'm, uh, I feel pride. You know, I'm, I'm proud of the team, uh, the team behind it, and uh, you know where we are right now. So uh, the future is bright, definitely for Sologenic. And uh, yeah. Well, thank you so much for having this interview with us today. My pleasure. And remember, get your free ticket to the DeFi X solo event while they're still available. Now, let's have a look at the rest of the Sologenic ecosystem. Solo cards will allow solo holders to spend their crypto and tokenized assets instantly. You can pay for goods and services online and in stores. Solo cards will be available in the near future. Sologenic also has a savings program where you can earn daily solo rewards. Take a look at this video to find out more. The Sologenic Savings Program, or SSP, is an airdrop program exclusive to the Sologenic community. With SSP, you can receive between 6 and 20% in annual rewards. With a reward pool of 1.2 million solo, the amount you receive depends on how much solo you hold and how long you lock it up for. Choose one of the available time-based programs, enroll and receive daily solo rewards directly to your solo wallet. You'll need a CoinField Pro account and a minimum of 100 solo to participate. Visit coinfield.com and enroll now. You might be wondering, where can you buy solo? Our suggested choice is Coinfield Exchange. Coinfield is available in 193 countries and has six different fiat options and 20 digital assets, including Solo. You can also download the Coinfield app to secure your crypto safely. Solo is also available to trade on 10 other global cryptocurrency exchanges. Hey. Have you downloaded the CoinField app? The cryptocurrency market is fast moving, so they built an app just for you. The state-of-the-art CoinField wallet enables users to quickly and securely interact with their assets on the blockchain. This app allows you to trade on the go like a pro. Download the CoinField app today to start trading. We interviewed Sologenic's Chief Product Officer to find out more about Sologenic's products and what's coming next. Here it is. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hi Brent, hi everyone. My name is Dmitry, I'm a CPO at Sologenic and it's a pleasure to be here with you today. So can you tell us some of the unique features of the Sologenic ecosystem that will attract new users and keep long-term investors interested? Sure, thank you for this question. As a matter of fact, we're working on many products and improvements that will attract new users and investors. In midterm, we plan to create a whole infrastructure or ecosystem around our products and offerings. Our current priority is the first version of the ATP, namely tokenization engine, uh, pool order, integration with liquidity providers, and other associated features are in their final stage of development. Apart from that, we're working on solo cards, crypto futures trading, and DEX, a platform where our users can trade their tokenized assets against solo or XRP. I expect uh, next year to be quite rich in terms of diversifying our existing product portfolio. Wow, that's a lot of different elements to consider. So uh, just to look at solo cards, can you talk about how solo cards integrate with the solo card app? Sure. About the card app, we haven't announced it yet, but we finished our development for the solo card app where users would be able to order their cards, uh, manage it, link to existing wallets, track their spendings, etc. Basically, this would be a standalone app where we have everything related to the solo cards. The reason that we didn't announce it yet uh, is the fact that we're still working with a number of third parties that are needed to launch fully functional cards to our users. Since this is something that is highly regulated and audited by the banks, payment network providers, 
it is not going as fast as we'd like to, especially for the crypto-backed project like ours. I'm sure there's a lot of moving pieces to make something like that work. Now, you've been working hard in getting the correct licensing for Sologenic. Can you tell us what those licenses are for and how all that is coming along? Yes, of course, Brent. Uh, we were and continue to work on getting required license for Sologenic. As you understand, the nature of Sologenic is offering traditional investment services, leveraging on DeFi and blockchain technologies. Nowadays, any company that has an investment services component offered to their retail clients needs to have a proper license in place. Since we are based in Estonia, we have decided to proceed with quite complex and strict European regulation. With MIFID regulation, we're not, only to, uh, we're not only able to offer ATP services, it also provides us with more trust and credibility to our users and investors. On a second note, speaking about DeFi and blockchain components, it is often very difficult to explain their coexistence with the legacy investment products to the regulatory bodies. I'd like to stress that this is not a concrete case with a particular jurisdiction, we're working with a number of regulatory bodies, and nowadays, almost everywhere, you face challenges when representing innovative DeFi solutions. The good news, however, is that we see how this landscape is changing. Almost every day, there is news about regulations addressing blockchain aspects. Uh, we can confirm this by our field practice. At the same time, the processes are quite timely in this domain. Okay. So let's talk a little bit of the United States. It's a huge market for crypto, and so far, Sologenic has not been made available to U.S. residents. So what can you tell us about this? Yes, Brent, I totally agree with you about U.S. market potential. As a matter of fact, we do not accept U.S. clients due to the lack of license for that region. We carefully consider regulatory compliance and licensing matters, uh, so we enter this market only after preparing ourselves in that regard. What I'd like to mention is that we have our franchise program where we are partnering with local individuals and companies who are interested in developing Sologenic and Coinfield products across different markets. US is not an exception. The fastest path for us to, uh, on this market would be through a partnership with someone who is presented locally or has capacity to cover regulatory and uh, local development matters. So if anyone is interested in joining forces with our team, we are open for the discussion. Let's switch gears here for a second. Uh, the Tokenization Asset Simulator is launching on November 18th. When will the full tokenizing platform be available? Well, you see, Brent, the live or full version of the ATP has very little difference from the simulator. We have built the simulator uh, on the testnet that is identical to the real one. This means that we're ready to launch it as soon as we have an all needed licenses in place. As I was saying before, it is not uh, always easy to deal with the regulatory bodies when you have a blockchain and DeFi components. However, we are on a good track so far. We already submitted all needed paperwork and currently waiting for the feedback and approval. I don't want to give any deadlines since it's not our, uh, under our full control, but I feel very strongly that we'll launch it uh, in the first half of next year. Well, I'm sure that's really exciting for everybody who's been waiting with bated breath and who might try it out as it get launched for the event. So what's coming next for Sologenic in 2021 and beyond? Oh, we're so excited about 2021. As I said before, it is going to be a reach uh, for our product portfolio. Uh, we have extensive roadmap for the ATP product line, launching live version, adding DEX, and new asset classes, adding global exchanges are planned for 2021. In parallel, we're focusing on expanding investment and trading services. So those things like leverage crypto futures, CFDs, probably FX are going to be added in the ecosystem. Well, that's all really exciting. And thank you so much for taking the time to have this interview with us today. Thank you, Brent. It was a pleasure to talk to you today. And I hope to see everyone soon on our ATP simulator launch event. Bye-bye. Thanks again. On November 18, Sologenic will host a free virtual live event to introduce its tokenization asset simulator. At this event, you can learn more about how DeFi is reshaping the economy, hear from Sologenic core team and industry experts, watch a live demo of the Sologenic tokenization asset simulator, and take part in a live AMA.
where you could win solo. Don't miss the opportunity to see how you can practice tokenizing stocks, ETFs, and commodities. DeFiX Solo has limited places available, so register now to reserve your free spot. Go to defixsolo.eventbrite.ca to book your free place. Learn more about DeFiX Solo at www.sologenic.com forward slash DeFiX Solo. So, that's it for this special edition of Solo TV. For more information about Sologenic, just go to sologenic.com. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and we'll be back to regular Solo TV content next month. And don't forget, get your free ticket to the DeFi X Solo event by going to defixsolo.eventbrite.ca. We'll see you there soon.